Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. I am Poetic Heretic, and when we last left off, we were out here in this frozen region, um, making our way to the Dawnstar area, but more specifically right up here, to kill Dekus. It's time to engage in this assassination of Dekus. At the uh, shipwreck on the northern coast, it says. Okay, so let us continue our journey there now. So we have the uh, wonderful Mace of Moleg Ball, as you can see, and uh, our other equipped spell or our equipped thing is Vampiric Drain. All right, skellies are intact. Actually, let's check on a couple of things here as well. Um, okay, we are sated, and it's 11.32 p.m., so still plenty of nighttime left to work with. Look at all of that. Just what a sight, what a sky. Okay, let's go. I'm recording this episode uh, in the late morning hours in the real world. Just so you know, and I expect the lighting to be a little bit better. I'm also using the, the green, blue, purple setting on the LED lights as well. With some adjustments that will hopefully suit the vibe of the game better. Um, still very much getting used to recording during the daytime. Uh, or particularly this early during the daytime, I guess. And being on my daytime schedule again now. <laughs> oh boy, that's quite the drop. However, that shouldn't really be an issue for us, now should it? We have, uh... Yeah, I can do this thing. Have... Does that work reliable? Reliably, oh, it does. I'm just now figuring that out. Okay. We have become ethereal. So we can just jump and jump again. Oh, shit. It's going to wear off. It's going to wear off. It's going to wear off. Son of a bitch. Okay, never mind. I quick saved for a reason. Um, I have way too many save files in there. I should clean them out sometime. Um, let's see. Well, actually, better strategy might be to engage in some transformation. Which we'll just use the regular menu. Imperial camp isn't going to be able to see us, are they? No. Okay. Into our vampire lord form once again. Silly music and all. Alright. There we are. Okay. Now this is far more efficient. Oh, this wretch at the shipwreck, this Shipwreck wretch won't know what hit him. Okay, looks like we're directly over him right now. As I said last week, don't mind me. I just thought I'd drop in. Oh. He's just lying there like that. Wait, I want to see something here. Let's quick save first. I can drain him as a vampire lord. That's interesting. Okay, that is one way to commit an assassination. 
<laughs> All right, take his hip bone, his left foot. Steal from his chest. Come on. Ooh. I made a level up thanks to that. Hang on. I guess I switched out of um, battle mode there. So the coin purse. And steal the amethyst. No switching to first person in this form. Heal us folly. Heal us folly. Heal us folly. Yes, I shall take his treasure. It is now mine. I want to stay in this form though, just because it's annoying to revert form and then transform again. And although I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid that if I want to get all this crap. Soul gem, sapphire, amethyst, amethyst again. No, I think I got all the good stuff. The Bella statue. Don't really need that. Um, yeah, I just want to stay in this form because uh, we'll be able to get to our next destination faster this way. Alright, so looks like that's about it. We have successfully killed Dekus. Okay, well... As for our next destination, it is not going to be a specific quest that we already have in our journal, because, oh, that's right, we have to level up too, damn it. You know what? I will level up when I am good and ready. Right now, we need to get to the College of Winterhold for a certain rendezvous involving conjuration magic so wait we're in dawnstar so we want to head yes east to get to the college of winterhold and so we shall simply continue on our way there in our vampire lord form that will get us there much faster Rather than wasting time with a bunch of bullshit. So, in terms of a personal update for me, myself, as I mentioned getting back on this um, daytime schedule recently, I am finally at the point where I am close to being fully adapted to it. So we got gut wrench here. Come on. There we go. Search the ghostly remains. Alright, cool. Oh, come on. I'll stay. I'll follow. Maybe... I don't know what that was. Was that friendly fire or what was it? I don't know. It seemed like they stopped. But whatever. Let's just continue. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, yes. Today is day 10 of my... Uh, new schedule in the real world and last night was actually the first night that I finally slept the entire night at the new time so 
that tells you how much my body does not like changing uh, its schedule. <laughs> it just does not like it one bit, so I'm going to very much try to avoid such uh, major and drastic changes like that in the future. And also because, um, unlike Darius here, I think I just prefer a daytime schedule more. It's more efficient overall. Uh, is our vampire sight even on? I can't tell. No, it's not. Okay. Right, because we were in a fairly snowy region earlier, so we didn't exactly need it. Oh, come on. Why are the workers attacking? Thirty-two a.m. Okay. Let us continue. I can already see the College of Winterhold on our little um, compass thing. At least I think that's what that is. Regular wolf. Oh, sorry, skellies. Jeez. I think I gave you those bone or those um fire rituals last time. You gods. All right. Okay, the college is right there. Very good. Um, I'll endeavor to transform back. Prior to reaching uh, the city of Winterhold, we don't want to frighten the good residents, the good people of the Winterhold city. Wow, so beautiful. So frigid and cold, yet so beautiful. Hey wolf, what are you doing there to that poor honey rabbit? I think the rabbit was the new vampire lord perk is available. Was the rabbit like fed on by the bats or something killed it? Was it the bear trap maybe? Wait, uh, three oh six a.m. What's the new vampire lord perk? That's or I mean, what <laughs> what perk should we get? Is what I'm trying to say. Um, hmm. curtain call. Hemomancy briefly pacifies people affected by a different hemomancy spell before decapitating them, killing them instantly. That sounds quite nice. Um, Fountain of Youth, Echo Location. We could start working on this part of the tree. Sends out a quick pulse that detects any creature, mist form, reaping, temple. Psychic vampire. Um, hmm. wait. Once we get Fountain of Youth, then we can get to s stuff like Lion Among Sheep. Magic form damaging targets with the Raise spell in your right hand reduces their attack damage by ten percent for ten seconds, and melee form you deal ten percent extra attack damage for each target affected. Hmm. Slasher. Our attacks and melee form deal fifty percent more damage and hit all targets in front of you. We should start working our way up towards that. Um, hmm, I don't know. Then again... Uh, wait, what's after we get blood from a stone and then Lord of Destruction, race spelling right hand deals, 0.5% more damage per level destruction. That's pretty nice. Hmm. I don't know, I'm leaning towards Curtain Call though. I really am. Briefly pacifies people affected by different human mincy spell before decapitating them, killing them instantly. Yeah, let's just go with that this time. Alright. And let's see. Let's drop to the ground and let our magic replenish for a bit. Also, while that's happening, um, speaking of new schedule and everything, 
I have my iced coffee here with me today. I'm going to drink some of it now, so I hope you don't mind that, but I need to stay hydrated while I play this game. I must engage in hydration while I do these recordings. Okay, let's go. Boy. I'm looking at the sky and all of a sudden ice wolf attacks. It's just so beautiful though. Look at that. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad with YouTube's wretched compression. Okay, we are quickly approaching the city of Winterhold now, so we shall revert to our form. Ready with vampire sights. Identity is concealed. Very good. Here we are. In the hold of winter. All oh, right, we also need to level up. Um, but let's get into the college first before we do that. So we are not damaged by the sun. Look at that. I see astrology up there. Okay, so um, let's go in here. We can just sleep in our bed at the college once we level up. There we are. Okay. Um, let me also take a look at all this stuff, uh, current rank, I'm curious, 260 out of 600 to the next rank, not bad. We are slightly tired, well, we'll be sleeping here very soon. Okay, time to level up. Magic health or stamina, um, let's see, 164 times 2 is 328, I do believe. To make it easier, is 410. Oh, so we're at the perfect ratio right now. Our magicka is right where it needs to be. But so we'll we'll increase magicka a little bit more this time, and uh, and then next time it'll be health, as long as nothing significantly changes, I suppose. Okay, magicka it is. All right, um, let's see. What perk shall it be? I don't know, there's so many to choose from. What all do we have here? Skeleton mages, two out of two, that could be fun. Um, what is some of this stuff? Oh, this is kind of interesting. Puppet master, your, your created skeletons take 25% less damage when you are blocking. Deal 25% more attack damage when you are attacking, and their spells are 25% more powerful when you are casting a spell. That's pretty cool. Um, hmm. Atromancy. Summon Daedra and other non-undead minions last three times as long or five times at night. Hmm. I 
I mean, I feel like we're more into necromancy than we are uh, summoning these various things, but we certainly like to do that too. We enjoy that too. I feel like destruction has not really been given the attention that it deserves. We should probably get Frostfall. However, let's see what our other options are. Speech. Um, sneak. It's something that could also be useful. Light armor, archery. Uh, it's just, it's hard because there's like so many areas we're investing in. So, of course, we have uh, Denting Blows, one out of three, the first rank of that, which um, strengthens things with maces. Attacks with maces reduce the armor rating of armored enemies by 75 points for 15 seconds, or gives us that advantage with maces, I should say. Um, the next thing available for that is Smite. Power attacks with the mace deliver a critical strike that deals three times critical damage, four times against the undead. Targets can only be struck by Smite once every 30 seconds. Yeah against the undead. Almost seems like something more fitting for, like, a hero character. Um, hmm. Not like we will never use other weapons, though, like swords. Actually, swords reduce the target's attack damage by 10% for 3 seconds, but we aren't going to do that now. It's very tricky because, really, there's just so many that it would be fitting for us to get. Um... What is that thing we have with sneak here? Infiltrator. Your footsteps in equipped armor make 75% less noise when sneaking. That's nice. Um, I think we want to get Demolition Job. All destruction spells and scrolls are 1% more powerful per level of sneak if the target is not detecting the caster. That's useful. However, I'll probably save that one for later as well. Um, yeah, speech, we'll just have to wait. Illusion. We should get some freaking illusion training. That's what we should do. Start utilizing illusion more. That would be very useful. Of course, we could also train it by using Pale Shadow more often. That spell, it's a very convenient spell for training illusion. Um, okay, so this is a lot to take in. So I think what we're going to do... Uh, is uh, since destruction has been neglected so much and it's at level 58 to almost 59, we're going to finally put another perk into destruction and it's going to be Frostfall. Okay. Frost spells reduce the attack damage of their targets by 25% for 5 seconds. Isn't that delicious? And in the future, that opens up things like Crystallize and Shatter. Frost spells freeze the blood of their targets, etc., etc. Okay, does a lot of shit. Shatter, frost resistant target fragment explode in a 15 foot area, reducing frost resistance by 25% for 10 seconds. Cool. All right, so that'll have to suffice for now. Uh, do we have Pale Shadow favorited? Yes, we do. So we should try to use Pale Shadow more often. In the meantime, though, again, we could get training. We do have over 10,000 gold and counting all the time and what else are we really going to use gold for at this point you gods um 67 a.m okay all right let us sleep then for 12 hours excellent okay my acrobatic skill is increased from level seven Two, eight. Good. Carrying capacity now up to 361. Very nice. Um, got some bones and... Excuse me, Enter. What all am I carrying that's weighing so much? Nordic carved armor? Yes, oh, shit. Uh, apologies for the intrusion. I need to sell things ASAP. Uh, but I'll get to that later. Uh, procure a few select items for me? Really, Arneo? Because I seem to recall on. doing just that for you recently, at which point you assured me that you'd cover my expenses. And that, my nervous little friend, did not happen. 
Would you care to comment on that, perhaps? Uh, Do you care to comment on that? Yes, I... Uh, I was unaware that I had forgotten that. I will... Uh, I mean, I'll take care of that as soon as possible. Oh, he's glitched. Wait, what is he doing again? I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. Oh, right. You're not... You don't, like, specialize in, like... Uh-huh. Selling certain types of spells or anything. Um... There's that guy. So... We need to find... Both the Conjuration dude and the Illusion dude. The question is, where are they located at? Oh, you need to reset as well. Rolina, Marion. There's Jezargo. It's difficult to admit, but Jezargo could still use some help. Jezargo will have to wait. Here. Unfortunately, his characters get glitched with um I think it's the the mod that I have that overhauls the College of Winterhold. But anyway, um let's see, what was this again? Reset inventory, I think. Yes, that fixed it. Good. Alright. Yeah, I don't want, uh, like, naked college members wandering around. It's like, what kind of college is this here? You know, you got... <sighs> this would be a... You know, this would be a faster way to do this shit. Yeah, vampire sight, there we go. Turn that off. Uh, it's you again. Oh, right. They like to hang out over here, of course. I freaking knew that. I've only been playing this game for 12 years or however fuck long it's been since it came out. Meralda. Yeah, I don't need destruction spells. I got those for not too long ago. Um, Oh, have you been glitched as well? They say knowledge is its own reward. Hang on, Dravis. Actually, if I go into first person, this will be easier. Reset inventory. There we go. Like, you may be skilled in illusion, but uh, you're not skilled enough to not have people notice when you're naked, so, yeah. Illusion really is the least appreciated of the school's magic. So, how much would training in illusion magic cost? I shall explain to you the mysteries of the Outer Realms. Oh, thank you, the Outer Realms. Oh, not that much at all. Okay, um, yeah, you know what? Let's see, I mean, hmm. While we could indeed train our illusion ourselves, especially with a spell like Pale Shadow. At this point, when we're literally level 31 and our illusion is our illusion skill is only 27 and we want to build it up, it could use a little training and we have the gold. And what else are we gonna spend the gold on other than training and spell tomes, I guess, at this point, some minor travel expenses. So um, yeah, right, here we go. Train, train, train. Wait, maybe we should save a little bit of the gold though for master level uh, conjuration spells. Um. Hmm. But we'll have more gold before we know it. Fuck it. Let's just train as much as we can in it this level. There we go. Mm hmm. There, we're already a little bit. We've already made a little bit of progress towards uh, you know, the next level. Is its own reward. So, where's the conjuration guy? Hmm. She's like. Or 
worshipping the light or whatever. <sighs> Mages, you never know where they're going to be. I mean, I don't think he'd be in one of these rooms. Oh, he might be on this floor. Wait. Wait, who are, are you the one? No, you're the enchanter, that's right, of course. But they don't seem to mind having access to enchanted weapons and armor. Um You know, he's probably or quite possibly in the Arcanium. He seems to hang out there a lot. So I guess we're gonna go to the Arcanium next in our search. I didn't even have my vampire sight on. That's how dark it is, jeez. Have you managed fine. to track down the synod or the staff of Magnus? Nope, I am quite busy. It's gonna be a while before that happens. Okay, the uh conjuration dude does not appear to be here. Damn it. The hell could he be hiding? Is he up here? Maybe? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <sighs> no, I doubt he's up here. Um, I mean, is there any... Finis, you're. We already talked to you, right? That incident in no, wait, you're. Yes. <laughs> you're the one we're looking for. Gods. So, Finis, I've been looking for you. Um, can you teach me about conjuration? You've already learned all I can teach you. Well, what else is there to be learned then about conjuration magic? How quickly you've advanced. Most impressive. There are spells yet to be learned. Powerful spells that can more closely and more permanently bind creatures to your will. But there are risks. There are always risks. You must summon and command an unbound remora. Great. How do I do that? I will teach you the spell to summon the Dremora, but know that it will only work in a place properly prepared for the event. Once you have summoned the Dremora, you will order it to deliver to you a sigil stone from an oblivion gate. Once I have the sigil stone, I shall inscribe the spells that you seek. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> If only that were true. Summoning an unbound Remora is not like other conjuration spells. It will not simply do your bidding. You must first prove you are in control. Here is the spell you need. Go to the top of the Hall of Attainment. I have prepared a place for you there. Summon unbound Remora added. Summon and subdue an unbound Dramora. Hmm. I will get it under my will. Now, if you'll excuse me. But. Hmm. Where does that go exactly? That probably just goes up there. Um, is this where it's taking me? This is Skyrim, so yeah, probably. Go, apparently. Mm. 
This is it. This is where the battle shall take place. Okay. Get ready, skellies. You're going to do something that only a true master of conjuration is capable of doing. Summon Unbound Dramora. Darius would be more likely to say. He would probably say this. You will do as I say. I serve no mortal. <laughs> See about that. Shit. Captured its soul. All right, so far so good. Let's summon it again. Are you ready to submit? Resistant vampire train. Oh shit. That's not good. Ocean of blood. And it's a damn good thing I drank that potion of blood. Okay. So if you think I'm playing on too easy of a difficulty, well, I literally almost just died there, even with the help of my skeletons and everything. I mean, I did die. I mean, I'm already dead, but, you know. You know what I mean. Okay, after that very narrow uh, survival encounter, you shall summon it yet again. Get it under my will. I can do this all day. Bring me a sigil stone now. Yes, my lord. Summon me again, and I shall have your stone. Excellent. <sighs> What's the matter? Didn't think he'd actually bring the stone. Dagon can take it up with me if he has a problem. Alright, thank you. Wants us to go back in this way, huh? Alright, fine. To the Hall of Attainment. Alright. 
We activate our vampire sight and uh, candlelight as well. Where does it want us to go now? Somewhere down below. Wait a minute, before we deliver him this thing, let's take a look at this sigil stone. Let us examine it. It's not arranged by weight anymore. Sigil stone. Ow. Oh. Look at that. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Don't You'll stare. give an old man hope. All right. Where is the one whom I seek? Is he in here? There he is. We could feed on him real quick, but we shouldn't do that, even though we're thirsty. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. I have your sigil stone. Mine? Oh, no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Now, let's see what there is to see. You have to go to sleep in order to see what there is to see. Oh, I get it. You probably have to go, like, out of your body into the astral realms, and from there you see something with the sigil stone, and then you're able to do what? Hmm. All right, Finnis, I uh, guess I have to wake you back up. What, what did you see? Incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding, no matter what the guards claim. Uh, yes, what did you see? I have the knowledge I need, and so you may have your stone back. And also, please, take this. You have done well. Right. Oh, thank you. Free spell. Hell yeah. What's the matter? Didn't think I'd have the stone? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Um... Let's see what you have indeed. So... Hang on. Highest value ones are not necessarily going to be... Master ones. Um, but yeah, like here we have like Storm Thrall summons a Storm Atronach permanently. Not sure why that's in there twice. <laughs> um, Frost Thrall. Dead Thrall. Reanimate a dead body permanently to fight for you with improved damage. That's cool. Um, ooh, Daedric Thrall. Summons a Zivili Storm Fury permanently, destroys itself with a powerful Shock Nova in combat. That's sick. Yeah, that's that probably wasn't there before. Um, the issue with Dead Thrall, and I might still get it just to find this out, but um, in previous playthroughs, something about my mod setup, it didn't work, and I can't remember what it was about it that didn't work, but I think. Well, I just can't remember. I just remember it not working for some reason. I don't know if the reanimation took place at all, or if it did, but it didn't last. But unfortunately, 
that one might not work for us, though uh, we can try it another time. Um, so Daedric Thrall, that's exciting. Uh, let's see what else we might have here. Okay, so now we're just getting back to these other things. Random into dead body for 900 minutes, chance to fail on targets of level 60. Dread zombie. Okay, what do we use right now? Um, Reanimate greater corpse, reanimate a dead body for 15 minutes. Okay, so. Yeah, like Dread Zombie, a more powerful reanimation spell, which, quite frankly, we should probably have. I would prefer to get this right now as opposed to the Dead Thrall spell, just because um, Dead Thrall spell might not actually work for us, sadly. So, let's see, we can get the Dread Zombie spell. He already gave us a Flame Thrall spell to home for free, so we have that. Yeah, let's get the Dread Zombie spell. Very expensive, but it's worth it. And... Let's see. We never even... Storm Golem. Yeah, we never even like got that spell, did we? Apparently not. Hmm. Don't know if I want to spend all my gold on it, though. Holy shit, we're actually down to 5,000 gold. Daedric Thrall. Yeah, we'll just have to come back to this guy for more spells eventually. Um, or wait, Conjure... No, wait, there's Conjure Storm Atronach. Holy shit, we have fallen behind. There's Conjure Storm Atronach, and then there's um, Conjure Storm Golem. Those are very different. However, um, I think we've done enough for now. We'll buy more spells when we have the gold. Uh, until next time. Yes, indeed. Okay. It's 2.50 a.m. Hmm. I could use a nap, it says. Well, all right. Uh, Finis. I'm afraid I'm just going to have to feed on you. You'll never know. On Daedra Hearts. Could be interesting to read sometime, but not right now. But he might feel unusually weak for a day or two, but he'll be all right. Skelly, you're in my freaking way. As usual. Okay, so first of all, where are we at with our vampirism rank and all that? 273 out of 600. Okay, we are seated. Good. Second of all, Let's learn these new spells already. Dread Zombie and Flame Thrall. Hell yes. Okay. So now this means... Um, man, we haven't even really taken advantage of a lot of these, have we? These from Flame Atronach to Flame Thrall. What the hell have we been doing? We haven't... Hmm... We haven't done enough things. Conjure skinned hound. Uh, oh well. Reanimate greater corpse. Placed with um, dread zombie. Now we have our flame thrall spell for when we want to use that. Which we could even use right now and just have this flame thrall following us around all the time until it's defeated. And we can just summon it again. So yeah, let's do that. 
flame thrall. Wow, that takes a lot of magicka. As it should, though. Hello, my flame thrall. Alright, excellent. 3.47 a.m. Um, yeah, we need to sell some shit, and we have some bones to store, so our next order of business will be to get back to um, Tirashan, and from there, we will deal with everything else. Come on, don't trap me. Oh, God. You know what? Fine. That's, it's fine. We can go out here and sell shit first. It's fine. Alright, into the choppy frame rate zone with plenty of undead deer. Merchant rake. Now, wait, wait, wait. Don't we have something here? Uh, drought or drought or whatever the fuck that is of glibness increases speech skill by 30 points for 60 seconds. I don't know if that will give us better prices or not, but it's worth a try. Let's do it. There's something you need. Some things to sell. I'm sure we can strike a bargain. Yes, indeed. Okay, Va highest value first. Nordic carved armor for 259. Um. Maybe we'll use that at some point. Nordic carved helmet for 89. This robes of restoration, 83. Let's see. Squirrel blizzard. Um, try to do this relatively quickly. Lent of Stendar. Amethyst. Freaking herbal tea. Yeah, we'll drink that before we sell things in the future. How about that? And apparently that's it. Okay. Good. Now we have a little more gold. Now, if you'll excuse me. You bet. 202 out of 361. So we're going to go store those bones and things. Just kind of weird recording here in the late morning, now early afternoon hours in the real world. But I like it. It's much better lighting overall as well, quite frankly, because, uh, well, my webcam, like all cameras, likes a lot of light. Alright, so we're going to store these various bones. And how are our skeletons doing, by the way? Very nice. All but one of them has one day 15 hours left. Excellent. So that's just, I mean, that's great. They're going to uh, last us for quite some time. Um, they are boosted by the fire rituals. Just very, very good. All right, now let's get some sleep. Okay, uh, Ashley, wait, no. Before we sleep, what are we doing next? Are we reporting back to Nazir, or what the fuck are we doing? So, hang on a second. Yeah, how did we not even end up... Honestly... Part of the problem with um, the way that the Ordinator mod handles necromancy uh, with like the skeletons and everything, it makes it too damn easy to increase your conjuration skill. I don't know if there's a way I could edit that or not, but if there was, then I should, because that's really why we became a conjuration master so quickly, is because of that. And uh, there may be 
those out there who think that's way too easy and well i agree um i'm just not sure if there's even a way i can change it but that's something I, i'll have to look into sometime for future playthroughs so that's really why you know we didn't even really go through a phase where we were using um things like more like mid-level conjuration spells i suppose except for maybe just a little bit like with our reanimation spell um and instead now we just kind of jumped up to all of a sudden like basically expert and master level conjuration spells so we kind of like we were like doing novice and apprentice stuff we basically skipped adept and we went right up to expert and master so but that's just the way it happened so um you know it is what it is that's the way this one ended up ended up working out if i do future skyrim let's plays uh hopefully you know i can figure out something better if if i also use uh, conjuration in this way with such a character which i don't know if i would or not maybe i would use conjuration but not have the um skeletons for that for a future such character for that character who knows i don't know yet we'll see if that happens it's not going to be for a long time but so anyway um still need to report back to nazir for this stuff but what about the other dark brotherhood thing oh yes silence has been broken show the amulet to delvin mallory hmm. right what else is there though all this stuff all right well um hmm. i think what we are going to do next is we are indeed going to uh show the amulet to delvin mallory do the other dark brotherhood quest so then we can return to the dark brotherhood and just turn in all these quests at once that will be overall most advantageous, I think. And uh, deal with these other things soon enough. It's now 6.02 a.m. So, um, so we teleport back. It's going to take us back to the College of Winterhold. From there, we'll need to head down to um, Windhelm to take a carriage to Riften. That'll be the fastest way there. Uh, and then take care of all that stuff. So I guess we can really just sleep for 12 hours and that'll be close enough. All right. <sighs> Ye God, so many calculations to engage in. I awakened feeling rested. Very good. I awoke feeling rested today in the real world for the first time in over a week. It's a good feeling. All right. Our magic of fortification is still there. Don't need to refresh it just yet, I don't think. Um, all right. Let's go. Seventy seven out of three sixty one, not bad. Hope there wasn't anything else we wanted to store that I'm like forgetting about. But yeah, at some point I think we'll be able to sell those stolen goods, um, but not yet, of course. But soon enough. Actually, we could probably already sell them to certain vendors, considering our speech skill being what it is, I think, maybe. I'll have to be on the lookout for that, like if we uh, come across the um, Khajiit caravan anytime soon in particular, they tend to uh, be open to buying such things. Okay, so, Pale Shadow, let's train that shit. And we have our flamethrower right now so that'll be good um it will soon be uh, considered uh dark out i guess at 7 p.m so that will you know look at the sky that will uh, restore all of our 
abilities properly. And we'll be good to go. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try to get into the habit of using Pale Shadow a lot so we can train our illusion because that's something else we want to become skilled in as a vampire. A vampire should. And um, we have the Dread Zombie reanimation spell now. So when we need to engage in some reanimation, that will be most useful indeed. And we can keep an eye out for the Khajiit. Okay, what was that? Not sure. something up there. There's something over here. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait. There. Wait, did that... Yes, it did work. Excellent. Um, hang on, let's just... Come on. Excellent. Soul captured. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking maybe switch to another spell, but it's like, no, just... Take the bitch out already. <laughs> On guard cash key. Sell that thing. Hmm. Come back to this. What do we have here? Salaya. In the past several weeks, all of the couriers sent to replenish our supply caches in the northern reaches have gone missing. These drops must be made within the week to ensure our operatives have the provisions they need. Jeez, maybe one of these days I should get a bigger monitor, because uh, this is a little bit tiny on my screen right now. I'm also sitting kind of far away from it, though. <laughs> anyway, um, you are to restock the following caches. In Morthal, on the islet due east of the mill, outside Nightgate Inn, at the foot of the pier, near Winterhold, under the Great Arch. Take care, too many of our agents have been lost on this task already. Oh, really? Hmm. Under the Great Arch, huh? Well, we're right by that right now. In the wise words of Otep, let's go. Um, what do we have here? A frost troll. Wait, why did that summon a wolf to get it? Wait, I wanna... I wanna really use this. Hey, don't do that. Come on. Let's see if I can... <laughs> Hell yeah. How are we doing with soul gems, by the way? All of our black soul gems are filled, so those should be stored soon, because it's not like we're likely to use those anytime soon. Um... That'll save us six units of carry weight. Uh, 12 empty common soul gems, 3 empty greater soul gems. Still no additional grand soul gems, but whatever. 11 empty lesser soul gems, 23 empty... Okay. We are perfectly good with soul gems, basically. Um, although we do need some grand soul gems. But we'll find those soon enough. You know, they're not the easiest things to find for a reason. Oh, what do we have here? Locked with Dawn Guard cash key. Hell yeah. 108 gold. Hind bracers of minor sure grip. Lockpick. Potion of minor healing. Potion of vigor. Hmm. I don't really want the potion of minor healing, but I'll take everything else. I'll sell that. Picks. Potion of vigor. Stamina generates 50% faster for 300 seconds. I'll probably just sell that too. Alright. Excellent. Okay, um, I am going to take a quick little break. I will be right back, dear viewers. Okay, and I am back. So let us continue on our way.
But yeah, I hope you guys uh, like the new lighting. Um, I hope it looks good on the recording and on YouTube. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of time to uh, test it out under this particular configuration, like during the daytime, but with the green, blue, purple lights and other modifications. Um, so I'm not 100% sure how it's going to look, but I think it looks good overall. And I like tried to find something that would match the vibe of this game, I guess, of this playthrough in particular. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll find out once this video is done. <laughs> And I'll either stick with this lighting from now on, or I'll use different lighting. Or at least try different lighting. Hmm, what was that, I wonder? <clears throat> Something up there, perhaps? Oh well, let's just go. Anything down here waiting for us? Perhaps not. Quick save just in case. Look at all the footprints. Both the footprints that are, are already there and also have a footprints mod that does not necessarily seem to be... Wait, no. There it is. Sort of. No, maybe not. Hmm. I have a footprints mod that's supposed to make footprints appear. Or like a menu for it or something. Footprints enabled equals true. Oh shit, I just became more thirsty or something. Um. Right, yeah. It's, footprints are supposed to be on. What does default do? 50 footprints with particle. Wait. Total number of NPCs in the area with footprint effect. 11 out of 50. Footprints with particle effects. 1 out of 20. Uh, reapply player effect. I don't know, this mod has always worked perfectly well before. Hmm. Odd. Wait, I think I'm... I'm seeing them slightly at times, but... Oh wait, no, I think they're... starting to form. Maybe it's something about the... the lighting or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's just go. <laughs> Rather than obsessing over footprints right now. Gods. And if you're wondering, yes, I already have it configured with like the ENB and everything. I mean, I've done the exact same thing with other characters and it has worked, so should be working just fine. Maybe they're just very subtle right now. I don't know. Whatever. visible here. You can almost see something, but I don't know. Can't really see much of anything for the most part. Hmm. Maybe they're more visible in some areas than others. So what the hell's going on here? 
I'm in battle? What do you mean I'm in battle? Oh, I see. Famous little aging mutt. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> well, at least I got to cast that spell. Um, where the hell do they go? Where is it located at? Oh. Ice wolf pelt. What about the other one that attacked us? Where is it at? Hmm. What is that? Oh. <laughs> that was a plant. You're talking to my plant. So I'm wondering what those explosions were and if we could sneak up on them maybe. There we go. here a perfect opportunity for my dwarven bow of arcing that's what yes take that spriggan ya wretch yes nice um. <laughs> what did indigo say nice and slow now that was freaking satisfying. I have so many iron arrows. Huh. Are there any other enemies out or around? <laughs> See how useful that ability is, ye gods. feathers. Oh yeah, those are supposed to be useful for reanimations, even though I literally never use them. Such an ominous sky. Hauntingly beautiful. Isn't that right, Skellies? And Inigo and Flame Matronok. Where is Inigo? Where is he? Ah, uh, look at this freaking flamethrall. Jeez. I mean, I know it's just like a Flame Matronok, but just the fact that it's there permanently is very satisfying to me. I don't know, it's the little things. <laughs> Where the fuck is Inigo? Like, I just heard him and now he's like... What's a skeleton? It's fine. Oh, there you are, Inigo. Why didn't I see you? Hey, Inigo. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts? I'm wondering if you like this snow as much as I do. I love the snow, Inigo. It is cold and deadly, just like me. All set? Yes. My furry friend. So we need to get to Riften. And in the Riften region, we must enter into the um, Ratway. Wait a second, didn't we like become thirsty a little bit ago or something and I was gonna check that? We did become thirsty, okay, well. I'm sure I'll find someone to feed on soon enough. Is that why we can't walk across the water right now like we're supposed to be able to? I bet that's why. Oh, that's right. I remember before with these farmhouses and shit. We drained someone, I think, in this farmhouse, the Halalu farm. There may be someone down at the next farmhouse who we can drain. Frost Farm. Hmm. I suppose one might make the argument, well, damn, if we kill all the farmers, that'll prevent them from growing the crops, which will prevent the people of 
Windhelm from eating, which will then thereby, therefore, prevent us from feeding on blood. And just right up the food chain it goes, and we too will starve. But Darius kind of just doesn't give a shit, because he's kind of a little bit mad at this point. And I don't just mean mad as in, like, angry. I mean, like, a little bit crazed with rage at this point in his quest for vengeance. So into Holly Frost Farm we go. Let's see what, if anything, we can find. Do we? Okay. There's a beast or two in here. But is there a feast or two in here? Hmm. Hello, Darky. You oh, need to leave. Son of a bitch. No, I'm not going to leave. You need to leave now. No. Oh wait. Oh shit, that's the wrong you God damn it. I'm reloading, because that's the wrong freaking thing. I didn't mean to select that. I did not mean to select that ability. I meant to select um, Vampire Seduction, you see. Oh, wait. Shit, hang on. In my freaking Vampire Sight. Now select the Seduction. Quick save. Good measure. You need to leave now. Is that so? Hey, I didn't ask you to magic me. That's just too fucking bad. Ah! Delicious. And a potion of blood was added. Now that is what it means. To be a vampire. Sorry little beast, you'll find a new owner. Flamethrower is going to come in handy right about now. Um, oh boy, what the fuck do we use against this thing? How about Ice Shiv? Uh, yep, it's already <laughs> attacking it. Excellent. I will do the same as soon as it holds still enough. Okay, here we go. Forest dragon. Shit, I'm out of magicka. Hang on. Uh, mark for death. Um. Okay. Um. Of course, I could. Why the hell don't I have magicka potions? Uh, favorited for fuck's sakes. Potions of minor magicka used some of those already. Okay, um... I'm quick saving, I don't give a shit. Wait, there's more enemies nearby? Why are there more enemies nearby? What happened? What did I do? Come on, come on, come on. I don't have enough magic again. Okay, hang on. I need to do this and do this right. See if I can just. There we go. Excellent. Now, what else is there? Uh, we'll have to absorb that shit later. Wait, no, there's something over here, too. Oh, we 
we're absorbing it now. We're absorbing it now anyway. Wait. What? It fell into the water? How did that happen? Oh, is it? No, that's that's a that's that is a dead horker. Where are these enemies then? What's what is it? It's that horker. But then there is also something up here. What the hell is it then? The goat? Oh, for fuck's sake, game. Why are you glitching? The goat is not the enemy. Great, we just sacrificed a goat. Well, I mean... It does sound like something Darius would do, to be fair. And... You, apparently, are also a problem. That'd take forever to take that thing out, but whatever. Let's just go. Can I walk on water now? Aha! Yes, I can. It's under the water? Whoa, holy shit. Oh, that... How did that work so well? Well, good, because I don't have time for this shit. I don't have the patience for it. I'm 30 a.m. Let's just go. Come on, let's get out of the water. Okay. Um, one tiny issue I have, though, is, uh, we really should try to find that dragon and its many bones. So we can sell them for more gold and use it to buy more spells. So, um, must have fallen in the water right around here, I believe. This is going to be interesting. Dragon underwater. Horse dragon, yep, get the bones and the scales and you have any arrows, wooden battle staff, don't need that. Okay, alright. And how are we doing then with dragon souls? We now have eleven dragon souls. Cool. I did manage to get a couple marked for deaths in on it, which was very good. Wow, well, look at this. The flame thrall. Permanently, but technically 149 days, 22 hours, etc, etc. <laughs> 150 real-life days. So I guess if that much time actually passed, it would finally expire. Hmm. Interesting. But for all intents and purposes, it's permanent. Okay. What is our rank at this point? I don't know why I keep checking that. I'm just curious. 309 out of 600. Cool. Sadly, right now in the real world, my time is almost up. So this episode cannot go on for much longer. But we are not done yet. No. Darius has a rendezvous in Riften. No amount of ratway wretches are going to prevent him from it. Quick saving in case it like crashes right. or something. Yes. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'd like to hire your carriage. I'm glad to see you're not dead like the carriage driver in White Run. Where do you want to go? Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Well, we are heading southward, but I don't think we're. <laughs> don't think we're. 
going that far south. 4.48 a.m. Um, also, why was that loading screen message a bit off? That's strange to me, but whatever. Um, all right. In we go to Riften. Yes, indeed. Thank you. What a nice guard you are. Maybe, just maybe, I won't drain you one day. I'll spare you, unlike the others. Actually, Darius probably won't. If anyone's a bit surprised by some of Darius' more uh, dark and sinister actions, um, I would suggest that you remember that at the end of the day, he is an evil character. You know, we might like to think, oh, he's... Um, he must have some humanity in him, right? Well, maybe just a little tiny bit, but not really. Like, look like he is. What do you say to some cheap? I could indeed use a drink, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, Darius is an evil character, hell bent on revenge. And at this point, it's pretty much blinded him from anything else. Now we aren't too tired or anything before we embark upon this, are we? It is morning now, I know, but. We're just slightly tired, okay, well. We don't really need to sleep again just yet. What do we have here? Is my vampire sight on or off? Oh shit. It's already on, it's just that dark again. Look at this. I don't know. They skin us alive if they doing this. Oh, someone's getting like such a big beat, beat up right now. Gotten us this far. This far? We're well, living in a sewer. We said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going to check the entrance to the ratway. Be right back. Yes. Oh dear, I've been detected. Um. Okay, um. A Samolic Ball. Veil Shadow. And, uh, I don't know if I can get in there or not. Oh dear. Uh. Shit. Just do it this way. That's going to. Bones. Oh, what are they doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're all just burning from, from all this shit. Search this asshole. Okay, they can just take out the others right now. I don't care. Whatever, fine. I need to loot these corpses already. My flame matronach is, is setting them on fire. That's what happened. Where's the other one? I need candlelight. That's what I need. Drop. <laughs> dwarven bow, huh? What kind of bow are we using again? We're using a dwarven bow. Yes, dwarven bow of arcing. Cool. Does it need charged? That went too far. Um, Master Soul Gem. Lead Soul Gem. Good. Hey, Inigo. What is on your mind? Any thoughts about this place? <laughs> the only rats I smell here scurry on two legs. Hmm. Fair enough. If you need anything else, just ask. Uh, 
What do we have here? A low life. Jeez, what happened down here? Sleep to increase my physical abilities, yeah, I bet. Um, hmm. Are there any other wretches to deal with? Not ready yet. Hang on, I need a uh, mason molag ball. Oh yeah, use pale shadow. Resisted pale shadow. Why won't pale shadow work on him? Gloves of the Pugilist. Hmm. I'll sell those for a good price. Take his bones. Ring of Recuperation. Sell that. Okay. There's various traps around and shit. Why do we still have battle music? Let's get some candlelight in here already. It's dark as a fucking dungeon. Poison. Alchemy of the soul. Cooking pot. Nord mead. Okay. Oh shit. I fell for that pressure plate. I kind of just want to get to where we're going already. I'm sick of sneaking around and shit. What the hell is going on out there? Jeez, that battle music really just won't stop, will it? Into the ragged flagon we go. All right, well, um, I suppose this is a good place to conclude things now, dear viewers, because my time is up, I'm afraid. So going to uh, save the game. Um, one of these random old saves that we don't need anymore. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. I look forward to doing these every week now, and I can't wait to do the next one. So till then, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.